Today in this video we will learn about the pronouns and the types of the pronouns. First we see what is the pronoun. It is very difficult to use a noun in a sentences again and again to tell about more about the pronouns. So instead of using the noun in the sentence we use pronouns to replace the nouns. These pronouns are the certain number of words which we used to replace the nouns. So if you don't know about the nouns, I'll tell you about that nouns are the name of a person or a thing, any ideas, emotions, any feelings are the nouns. Just like if I give you an example about happiness, if I have to tell you more about the happiness in a sentence, like happiness is good for health, happiness brings you joy in the life, happiness is good for mental health. So in this sentence, I use the happiness again and again. So instead of using happiness, the noun in the sentence, we use pronouns then it will be the sentence then the sentence this particular sentence will become like first we have to denote that which noun we talk about so first we use happiness happiness is good for health and then we use it is good for life it is good for mental health it gives you a joy in the life so it pronoun is used for the happiness noun it is just a simple example I just want to tell you about that the preview about the pronouns how we use it then next we see exactly one by one about these pronouns it is different for different sentences sense of the sentences and different for different nouns so I believe that you know about the pronouns like what is the definition of the pronoun pronoun is used to replace the nouns in the sentences so therefore the replacement of noun we use pronoun the next the next we see which pronouns we use it for the first person then second person and the third person and the pronouns which we use for this first second third person are the personal pronouns and the second part of the pronouns is the emphatic pronouns so if I have to tell you more about myself so which kind of a pronoun I use so for the first person so I is the first person First let me tell you something about myself then uh, in sentences then it will uh, easy to get understand about which pronoun we use for the first person. My name is Sia. I work as a graphic designer in which I create a piece of design. On weekends me and my friends meet together. Sheena is one of the friend of mine. She had a huge nose as compared to mine. We went for shopping. All of us went for parties. So these are the sentences. Here I think I need to tell you something about a pronoun. A pronoun is used for three purposes. First for the subjective, possessive and objective. First sentence which I said is my name is Sia. So my pronoun is used for the subjective purpose. Always use my for the subjective purpose just for denoting the person which is me. I work as a graphic designer in which I create a piece of design. So I is also used for denoting the person for the subjective purpose and the I is also used for the possessive thing like I create a piece of design. I am not going to say my create a piece of design. So here we have to remember the two things like my and I is used for the two purposes like for the subjective and the possessive things. It depends upon the sense of the sentences which sentence says about uh, as a subjective point of view or the possessive point of view on weekends me and my friends meet together in this sentence me and my are the pronouns used for the first person me is a pronoun always used as a objective point of view i am not going to say on weekends my and my friends meet together here the my is word used for the denoting yourself that you are have in that sentence for denoting purpose my Sheena is one of the friend of mine and she had a huge nose as compared to mine in this sentence mine is a pronoun used for the first person and mine is always used in the in the objective form like in the last part of the statement object in the statement this mine word in Hindi we say is mera or meri we use in both the ways uh, it depends upon the sentence like which statement is masculine and feminine even if uh, masculine or feminine we use mine pronoun last sentence is we went for shopping all of us went for parties in this sentence we and us are the pronoun for the first person the we pronoun we use when the when there are more number of peoples in which you should have in that group then we use we it is important that you should have in that group then we use we for denoting purpose for the subjective purpose and us pronoun is used as an objective point of view when you have to figuring out all the single person in that group then we use us as an objective point of view
Let's see which pronoun we use for the second person. And the second person is the person we can see him, him or her in front of you, just in sight of you are the second person. For that we use for subjective point of view. If I have to denoting the person, I use pronoun you. Always use a you pronoun for the second person. If I say like, you are ready to fly. You is the pronoun for the second person and if the person I see him in front of my eyes, I use you pronoun for the subjective point of view. Always use you as a subjective way. If I say, tell me your strength and weaknesses. In this, your is the pronoun. And we use this pronoun as a possessive thing. Like in the sentence, your strength and weakness. Something that person have in that person, the activity or any other thing part of the person related thing, we use your. Okay, as a possessive thing. Like in the sentence, what is your name? I am not going to say what is you name. You as a subjective way and your is a possessive. Like the person name is a possessive thing. What is your name? You are powerful, mark my word in this sentence. You is the pronoun we use for the second person and the you is used as a subjective way. Always used for the subjective way, you. Like in the next sentence, your friend received a letter from you. In this sentence, we use the two pronouns like your and you. The sentence says that a friend received a letter. Okay, the friend received a letter that it relates with the something action or any activity like a possessive thing for that we use your and the last part of the sentence we use you because we have to denote someone that a friend received a letter from you so the statement is in indirect speech because of that the subjective and the possessive things are in in that sequence on the other hand we have to careful about the words in the statement that which word is denoting that and which word has a possessive thing or activity on that basis we have to fill the words pronouns in the sentence the next pronoun for the second person is the yours with s this yours pronoun we use as an objective way as an objective way like the last part of the sentence we can relate with the last part of the sentence but it is also depend upon the words in the statement like which word says what about so if i give you a sentence like a friend of you yours met with an accident in this sentence i use yours as an objective way i am not going to use a friend of your met with an accident the sense of the statement doesn't say about the possessive thing so we use yours as an objective point of view like in the other statement it may be yours i use it may be yours yours as an objective statement objective part of the statement it may be your no your is something like a possessive thing we use there is no other part of the statement says more about the possessive thing if there is another part of the statement say any possessive things then if the statement may like uh, it may be your thing in the cupboard it may be your earrings in the drawer then i use your next we see which pronoun we use for the third person third person are the one when we don't have see them exactly through our eyes but we talk about them in sentences about them then we say that they are the third person to learn about these pronouns i tell you about a story of ben who got ill by chicken pox uh, in sentences through which we can understand that which pronoun we use for the third person if we talk about the third person more about the third person Ben was in high school when he was get affected by a chicken pox his face was covered with big red spots i was worried about him i baked him a cake after few days of suffering he went back to his health here there are three pronouns like he his and him this three pronouns is used for the third person when we just have to talk about the person just for representing the third person we use he like ben he was affected by chicken pox and for the possessive thing like his face was covered with big red spots i am not going to use he face covered with red spots his face was covered with red spots 
I was worried about him. The him pronoun is used as an objective point of view for the third person. When the third person is the male person, I use him for the objective point of view. As a complementary word, we can say that I was worried about he is a wrong word. I was worried about his. No, if there is another word in the sentence, I was worried about his health, then it would be correct. I was worried about him. Him is used as an objective way. I baked him a cake. In this sentence, I use him as an objective way because the another sentence like I baked a cake, there is no possessive thing, there is no denoting thing like we use he or his. For that, we use him. I baked him a cake. After few days of suffering, he went back to his health. Here, I have used he for the denoting that he went back to his health. His health. Health is something a possessive thing. For that, we use his before the health. Next, we see which pronoun we use for the third person if the third person is the female one. For that, I tell you about my mother. What she usually do in summers in sentences. My mother Sheila willing to make papers in this summer. She took the papers outside in the sun to dry them. She then went inside her house. I did my work properly, but she didn't do hers. She just looked at me with small eyes of hers. In the first sentence, my mother Sheila. Sheila is a noun for that. For just for denoting way or for representing the person, female person, I use she. She for the subjective way. We use female one for the female third person. We use she. She then went inside her house. In this sentence, I use her house because the house that she own the possessive things. For that, we use her. I did my work properly, but she didn't do hers. She for the denoting that what she do or what she didn't. For that, I use she. Do hers. Hers as an objective point of view. We use hers. She just looked at me with small eyes of hers. I use hers, not her, or not she. We use her as an objective. We can say that in indirect speech. If the sentence is in indirect speech, we use hers. If the sentence is like she looked at me with her small eyes, then we use her as an possessive thing that her small eyes. So for that third person who is a female one, we use three pronouns that is she, her, or hers. Let's see which pronoun we use for the third person if the third person is more than one, more than one person. I'll tell you about through sentences. Then we understand that which we word, which pronoun word we use for the subjective, for the possessive, and for the objective. They had a bumper crops of watermelons. In this, for denoting purpose, for the representing the person, more than one person, and who is the third person, we use they. They had a bumper crops of watermelons. It is interesting to explore their culture. In this sentence, we use their culture because there are a number of people who have different culture for that and that they are possessive things, that their culture. Then we use their culture, not his or her culture. We use their culture for the third person, for the possessive things. When they were returning, Mira gave them a box of sweets. In this sentence, for denoting the person that who is returning home, I use they because they are number of peoples and they are the third person. We use they were returning. The next we see, Mira gave them a box of sweets. In this sentence, them is a pronoun for the third person, and there are more than one person. And who is the third person? We use them as an is an objective way. As like Mira figuring every person. In in that group, for that we use them. Mira gave there a box of a box of chocolates. No, Mira gave them a box of chocolates. Like she gave every single person in that group a box of chocolates. We use them. If this sentence may like, when they returning, they gave there a box of chocolates to them. Okay, then the sentence will be correct. Like they had a group of uh, chocolates, a number of box of chocolates, and they distribute every single person in that or any group of people them. Then we use their box of chocolates to them. But the them pronoun we use for the objective way for the figuring every person, single person who is a third person in that group. Then we use them. Next, we see which pronoun we use for the third person, and the third person is neither a male or a female or a group of a male or a female person, but the third person is is a non-living thing, any ideas, emotions, feelings, any place, but the things are the nouns. Then, which pronoun we use for that? Like, if I tell you about a place which is a noun, then 
like if i tell you more about the that place then which pronoun i used shimla is a beautiful place it is known for the handicraft shops it is used for denoting the shimla that which shimla is known for the handicraft shop for the representing things like shimla we used it as a subjective known for the handicraft shops the sentence doesn't say like possessive thing that shimla had or have for that there is there is just a denoted thing that it is known for the handicraft shops we use it if i say more about it like its most famous foods are red rice and non veg gravies in this sentence the most famous food are red rice like the possessive things like shimla had have that most famous things then i use its its most famous foods are red rice and gravies for the possessive thing we use its its average summer temperature is 22 degrees celsius the temperature that shimla had is something the possessive things for that we use its like in the other sentence it is also called queen of hills it is also called queen of hills who is called queen of hills the shimla court we have to representing the shimla for that we use it it is also called queen of hills it's called also queen of hills no it's a wrong sentence its pronoun we use for the more than one thing when we have to mention more than one thing we used its for the plural nouns we use its next we see the other type of the pronoun that we call them emphatic pronouns or the reflexive pronouns we use this reflexive pronouns when we have to talk about that subject itself when it always refers to the subject like self related thing if i am talking about myself my is a pronoun and i am talking about myself so i use self myself myself is a reflexive pronoun it always ends with self if we talk about the singular noun then we use self s e l f self myself and if this plural noun and we convert it into the pronoun then we use s e l v e s selves like in this sentence i enjoyed myself watching tvs like i'm enjoying myself so i use myself as a pronoun i denoted myself i representing myself related thing so i use myself similarly we use yourself himself herself or itself for the singular noun and we convert it into the reflexive pronoun if in case then we use yourself himself herself itself he looked at himself in the mirror in this sentence the person looked in the mirror himself so we use himself if he, she herself cooked vegetables in that sentence when we use like the she selfly cooked vegetables then we use this sentence she herself cooked vegetables he tried to make the situation better itself here talking about the situation that we use itself that itself the situation gets better so finally we cover all the pronouns in this video mostly all the pronouns for the different nouns if you want to practice such questions related with the pronouns you can check a link in the description box there is a website you can get more questions related with the pronouns